good morning in the earlier le uh, lecture we have seen the de broglie's wavelet and its different form now in this lecture we are going to derive an expression for the schrodinger's wave equation generally the wave equation is the uh, equation which gives the wave nature of a particle in mathematical form that means this is a basic equation of motion of a matter waves say for example if any of the particle if it is moving in a straight line means it has to satisfy the equation y is equal to mx plus c if it is following the path of hyperbola it has to satisfy some other equation just like that if a particle has wave properties there should be some sort of wave equation to describe its behavior of a particle that mathematical equation is derived by a scardinger uh, uh, scientist known as scardinger that is called as scardinger's wave equation so he derived an expression considering the de broglie's wavelet as well as the classical wave equation there might be some discrepancies with the classical wave equation so with that equation he used the concept of de broglie's wavelet and he derived two new forms of scardinger equation what are the two forms time independent as well as the time dependent form now we are going to derive it uh, separately now in this lecture we'll derive an expression for time independent wave equation in that we are considering the classical wave equation first we know the de broglie's wavelength and all classical wave equation we are not deriving that equation in this lecture but we are taking it from the classical concept so for that we need to consider system with the st uh, stationary wave associated with the particle what is stationary wave only the energy can be transferred the particle remains as such for which the coordinates is x y z be the coordinates of a particle and wave displacement is represented by a wave function say it is psi it is denoted by a letter psi it is called as wave function this gives us information about the wave displacement of de broglie's wavelength at any time say it is t time factor is denoted by t coordinates are of x y z and wave displacement is given by a letter say it is of psi now let us consider the classical differential equation of a wave motion say it is second order it is a second order differential equation do square psi by do x square plus do square psi by do y square plus do square psi by do z square is equal to 1 by v square into do square psi by do t square here small v is the wave velocity this expression do square by do x square we, we, we may write this as do square by do x square plus do square by do y square plus do square by do z square into psi is equal to this and every time it is difficult to write this do square by do x square up to do x square by do z square so instead of that we may write it as del square del square into psi is equal to 1 by v square into do square psi by do t square do square psi by do t square del square is the expansion is this del is what we call it as laplacian operator so second order differential equation we may write it in terms of laplacian operator then the solution of the given expression is calculating the value of psi psi is equal to psi not into e bar minus i omega t this is the general format for the solution for the second order differential equation psi is the solution and psi not is the wave function at an instant t is equal to 0 so psi is equal to psi not into e bar minus i omega into t t is a time and differentiating it will get it as differentiating it with respect to t so do psi by do t is equal to here psi not is constant so as such e par minus i omega t means minus i into omega is constant so e par minus i omega t into minus i omega again differentiating it do square psi by do t square is equal to psi not this minus i omega as such again you are integrating differentiating this means minus i omega into e power minus i omega t then combining these two minus into minus plus but here i into i is minus 1 so this minus into sin not 
omega into omega is omega square into e power minus i omega t. Here minus omega square will keep it as such and we know psi naught into e power minus i omega t is again psi. So dou square psi by dou t square is equal to minus omega square into instead of this value we will write it as psi. So dou square psi by dou t square is equal to minus omega square into psi will keep. Then here this is the expression uh, dou square psi by dou t square dou square psi by dou t square here and we may substitute this in this expression too that is in this expression we have it in terms of dou square psi by dou t square instead of dou square psi by dou t square we will substitute it here so if you substitute del square psi is equal to 1 by v square into minus omega minus omega square into minus omega square into psi so minus omega square by v square into psi by rearranging an expression it is a minus term so you just bring it here del square psi plus omega square by v square into psi is equal to 0 here v is the wave velocity and this is the angular velocity angular velocity we know it is a omega is equal to 2 pi nu then omega is equal to 2 pi nu omega is equal to 2 pi nu here it is of 2 pi nu in terms of lambda we may write then nu is equal to c by lambda but here any material particle associated with it so we may write it as v by lambda v is the velocity associated with the material particle and considering these two expressions omega here this v will bring it here so omega by v what is our purpose is we have to calculate omega square by v square so by rewriting it we will get the value of omega by v omega is here we will bring this v here so omega by v is equal to 2 pi by lambda and we need omega square by v square so we square it omega square by v square is equal to 4 pi square divided by lambda square again what we do we can substitute this value here so this is the expression we have so 4 pi square in by lambda square into psi so we have an expression again we know the lambda is the de Broglie's wavelength okay this is a in terms of materialistic matter properties we are expressing it as lambda is equal to h by m into v and we know lambda square and if you substitute lambda here means del square psi plus 4 pi square divided by instead of lambda square h square divided by m square into v square is equal to 0 then we bring this term up so 4 pi square into m square into v square divided by h square we will write it here here we keep it keep this expression as such and we have the total energy of a system as v and v is the potential power and the kinetic energy is half m into v square then we rearrange an expression means e minus v equal to half m v square here in terms of m into v why we are rearranging means we have an expression m square and v square we have an expression in terms of m square and v square so we will calculate m square m square into v square again rearranging it okay we will bring this 2 here and we need m square v square so just multiply both sides by m so m into e minus v equal to half into m square v square then this two you bring it here so 2m into e minus v is equal to m square into v square again what to do instead of m square into v square we need to substitute the value here so del square psi plus 4 pi square by h square is here then 2m into e minus v into psi is equal to 0. So instead of m square into v square we substitute here. Okay. So finally we have an expression 4 into 2 it is of 8 pi square m into e minus v divided by h square into psi is equal to 0. Here again we have we, we, can, we have an expression in terms of h this is also an expression known as this is an expression known as Schrodinger's time independent wave equation since all the terms are of independent of time factor here 
that's why it is called as time independent wave equation this also we may write it in terms of reduced Planck's constant what is meant by reduced Planck's constant mean that is noted as h cross h cross we may h, the value of h cross is h by 2 by this is simply for mathematical uh, purpose uh, if you write it this is also correct if you write it in terms of h cross this is also correct so it is of 8 we may write it as 4 into 2 then pi square and h square we may write it here we know that h cross equal to h by 2 by this is h cross is known as reduced Planck's constant that is of h by 2 pi h cross square is equal to h square divided by 4 pi square it's here h square divided 4 pi square is here so we will write it as 1 by h square 8 we may write it as 4 into 2 so 2 into 4 pi square divided by h square this 4 by h by h square is 1 by h square so del square psi plus 2m divided by h this is of 1 by h square so h square into e minus v into psi is equal to 0 the, both are of Schrodinger's time independent wave equation but here it is in terms of a Planck's constant this is in terms of reduced Planck's constant that is a difference both has a similar meaning at all then h cross is known as a reduced Planck's constant so this is an expression uh, for a time independent Schrodinger's wave equation because in the final expression there, there won't be any term consisting of the time factor t so this is the end of the derivation for the time independent Schrodinger's equation okay you just see through, uh, watch this lecture and derive it in your note and keep it as such for further clarification then we will meet you in the next uh, session of deriving the time dependence Schrodinger's wave equation. Have a nice time. Thank you.